Good Monday morning, everybody. I am up early to pack sales because I have 53 packages to do today. Um, these are all sales that came since Friday afternoon. And I'm um, just going to show you as I go. Um, hopefully, I'll remember to show you everything as I'm packing up. A large amount of my eBay sales are right here. A lot of this health and beauty product. Um, this is pretty exciting. All of this represents approximately $40 spent. And the sale price is $680. Now, I will say that is gross. That does not include any eBay fees or shipping because it tends to be the trend on items like this that they have free shipping. So in order to be competitive, I go ahead and do free shipping as well. Now a lot of these things are heavy, so it depends on where it's going, but also a lot of them are gonna be first class. So you know to add a couple of dollars into your asking price and just do free shipping on that and you're really not gonna lose anything. Um, so I'll just go through and kind of talk about if I can remember where I got the items and what I paid for them. Uh, I know you probably see some stickers here and clearly some of these will need to be um, cleaned up a little bit as far as the packaging before I ship them out. Because if I have a multi-quantity, I'll just take a picture of, of one and then I'll prepare the rest when I ship them out. Um, most of this comes from a local liquidation store, but several items came from various yard sales. Uh, probably my best flip right here is this Isogenics Cleanse for Life. Anything that I get from this product sells within usually a day of listing it, and all of these did. I was able to pick up six of these for $2.85 a piece and checked uh, the caps. They are sealed. They are in date. And um, I had two different sales that represented selling all of these. So one person bought two and paid $55, and one person bought four and paid $110. Okay, this Norel is a vintage perfume spray. The bottle is less than half full, and it sold for $20. I got that at a thrift store. I think I paid about 50 cents. Uh, this came from the liquidation store. It's a microderm abrasion product of some sort. Uh, I have sold this before, but this sold for $15.50. This Grown Alchemist Facial Exfoliant came from the yard sale that I got a week ago or two weeks ago. And I'm in it for about $2. And this came from the Fab Fit Fun Box Lady. And this sold for $36. Back here, we had this Perlier uh, bath cream. And that is something that I got at a thrift store. I've, it's been a little while, but I got a lot of products from that brand that day. And I've sold most of them. That sold $20 for the two. And it's going to cost me seven dollars and change to ship so you know not a huge profit but I think I'm in those for about a dollar this Ultima electrolyte powder of some sort that you put in your water I got all of these in a 25 cent bin at the liquidation store uh, the labels are in rough shape and that was shown in the picture in the listing but it didn't seem to matter um, I sold one for fifteen dollars and fifty cents to one person and then somebody else came along and bought all of the rest. And I think they paid, I want to say, $64 for all four of them. Um, yeah, $62, I have it written down here. $62. So, and they're in date and sealed. It's just a, kind of a warm packaging. Uh, this is a Forever Vision supplement for eye health, I believe. And it was $20. And I got that in the quarter bin also, but sold it for 20. This is next to the last of my Kylie Jenner lipsticks. And like I say, I bought that in a box full of product. And I paid $10 for just, um, it ended up, once they dumped the box out, it was in three big shopping bags. And a lot of it was trash, but a lot of it was good. And this sold for $22. 
Um, this product, I got at the liquidation store, but it's been a little while, and I think I got it off the shelf on half price day. So I'm probably in that for maybe around $2. Um, the product is called Skin Iceland, uh, and it sold for $18. Let me move this out of the way. Let me show you this shampoo. Caviar Anti-Aging Shampoo and Conditioner Set. And I got that off the shelf on half price day at the liquidation store. Um, I'm really not sure what I paid for it, but it wouldn't be any more than $4, and it could be as little as a dollar. And uh, I had that listed a little bit higher, and it wasn't selling. It didn't sell for 30 days, so I lowered the price to $41, and it sold within hours of lowering the price. This Rainbow Light uh, Menopause Multivitamin I got out of the quarter bin and it sold for $26.95. This Tula Probiotic Skin Care came from the yard sale from the FabFitFun box, so I'm in that for about $2. And let's see what it sold for. It sold for $16.50. This uh, skin product came from the quarter bin and let's see, that sold for $17. Okay, this is some kind of hair control paste. And let's see, it's by the brand Avita, and I got that out of the quarter bin and it sold for $23.40. Let's see, mini soft gels, uh, whole body mini soft gels. Herbal Pain Relief. Uh, the box on this one is pretty beat up, but it was actually completely sealed in the box and doesn't expire till 2021. And that sold very quickly after listing it. Got a lot of things on this paper. Let's see, that sold for $30. Okay, this uh, collagen peptide supplement sold for $17. Now this right here is a protein powder, um, Legion Recharge, and I've had it for a while. I bought a lot of them because the store had uh, a surplus and they sold them for $3 a piece, and I think the store is a little bit of a chain, so they might have had a surplus in lots of places, so I waited a while after I listed it instead of just selling it really, really cheap because there were some available very cheap, but I left my price up and I got an offer for the both of them for $60. Uh, so in that for six, getting 60, pay shipping, pretty good deal. This is an older vintage Estee Lauder Youth Dew perfume spray. I got it at an estate sale for a dollar and that sold for $20. And then we have four more bars of this all natural soap. I really didn't pay anything for that. I threw it in a bag when they were just giving me a flat price on, um, on the bag and I sold that for $13. So those are my health and beauty products going on today. And once I get this all packed up, I'll show you the clothing and the hard goods. So here is round one of clothing sales from eBay for this weekend. Um, pulling a whole bunch and then I'll pack those up and get those ready and then I'll pull some more. Um, not everything has to go out today because I don't have uh, one day shipping, I have two day handling. Um, and I like to make sure that I have plenty out there for my mail person when she gets here and I just keep working until she gets here. Um, but anyway, this is a Nick and Zoe sweater. And I actually got it recently for $2 at a thrift store, and I debated on whether to go ahead and ship it, um, not ship it, but go ahead and list it because it is a sweater, but it sold very quickly for $16 plus shipping. Okay, I have a swim dress, and this is by the brand Maxine, and I find that most swim dresses sell well, and especially in larger sizes. Doesn't really matter the brand. Uh, usually it's helpful if it's uh, good and supportive. And uh, this sold for $15 plus shipping. This is a cabbie, kind of a kimono style top. It's short. 
Um, so it's not one of the duster styles. You just kind of put it over a top. And I like to pick up cabbie when I get it cheap because it does usually sell. It doesn't sell for just a whole lot, uh, but you definitely make a profit on it. This sold for $15 plus shipping. This men's cinch polo shirt. Cinch is a, a Western brand and I sell it pretty well and I'm not really sure why I took an offer of $12 plus shipping on this one because I think I could have gotten more but I guess I was just trying to make sales this weekend. This is a motherhood maternity swimsuit and I just listed that pretty recently. Maybe, maybe two weeks ago and it sold for $13 plus shipping. This is a torrid dress. It's got a kind of a three quarter length bell sleeve. This is one of their smaller sizes. It's a double zero, which torrid is a plus size store, um, but double zero is really more of a size large, like a 10 or a 12. Um, it's real stretchy, kind of a baby doll style dress. And I got this at a yard sale for $2 just a couple of weeks ago. And this sold for $26 plus shipping. This is a Lucky brand, kind of a, it's a halter top, and then it's off the shoulder and long sleeves. And I got it at a thrift store for $2, and it sold for $12 plus shipping. I wasn't familiar with this brand, but it's 100% linen. Uh, the brand is Match Point. And I just find that most things that are linen sell well. And this was a nice beachy summer print. So I thought the odds were pretty good that it would sell. And it did. Um, not for just a whole lot, but $13 plus shipping. Now this I was very excited about when I found it. It took longer to sell than I thought it would. I had some offers on it initially that I thought were pretty low. This brand is Frank and Eileen. And this is the T-Lab style, so it's just a very casual t-shirt dress. But Frank and Eileen is a very expensive brand. And I got it at my favorite thrift store that went out of business when they were selling all of their clothes for $1. So when I came across this for a dollar, I was so excited. But this did sell finally for $56 plus shipping. And that was an offer from the buyer. And then the last thing for now, uh, for things that sold on eBay, are these uh, Jerbo denim blue jean shorts. And they're in great condition, and they, um, they've they been dry cleaned recently. And I've sold several of these, and I think I could have gotten a little bit more for these, but I did take an offer of $15 plus shipping. Here are my Poshmark sales for the weekend. This is a Dress Barn Luke's dress and it is new with tags size 16 and actually I bought this for myself so I think I paid about $15 for it and just didn't really care for the length on me um, and this sold for $29 this Bowden dress I got at a thrift store and I paid two dollars for it and even though it's a little bit more of a fall winter dress, it sold for $30. This London Times eyelet dress with three quarter length sleeves. It's kind of a shift style dress, sold for $21. And this Ellie Tahari shirt. Now I've had it for a while, but it sold for $16. Continuing on, this is what we will consider hard goods for the weekend. Um, not a lot, mostly clothes and health and beauty. But here is a pair of shoes from the brand La Plume. And they're a comfort shoe. I got them at Goodwill. And I took an offer of $30 plus shipping on them. This uh, shelf sitter spa girl doll. Um, I'll credit this a little bit to Rhonda at Got Junk in Her Trunk. Um, not, didn't steal your idea, Rhonda, uh, but I, I did actually come across this myself and thought somebody would want it, uh, but it was sitting around for a long time, and when she made note that she had been selling them, I, uh, decided to hustle and get it listed. Um, this lady sold for $26 and free shipping. This is a Dragonology plush. 
and it's actually going internationally so no telling what the person paid for shipping all together but my end was $33 plus shipping to uh, Kentucky and then these Dolce and Gabbana heels peep toe I actually got from my little girl's preschool teacher at her yard sale and I paid seven dollars for them and I took an offer of fifty dollars plus shipping on those here is round two of clothes sold on eBay over the weekend almost all of these pieces are indicative of items that I wouldn't really consider uh, something to put on Poshmark they're really eBay items um, and so we'll just talk a little bit about each piece. I've got them nicely folded, so I'm not going to unravel each one to show you uh, design and everything. There's a string in this one. It's not a stain. i got to pull that string out. Uh, this is a Chico's blouse. It's a size 3, which at Chico's is an extra large. And that sold for $11.50 plus shipping. Next, I had a lady ask to put two items together and combined shipping, and I was happy to do that. This is a pair of Lee um, jeans, and they're the Comfort Waistband, which I used to have a lot of luck selling these, um, but these have actually been uh, in inventory for a very long time, so I took her offer of $8 plus shipping. And then this is a Chico's Zenergy jacket. And I used to get really excited to find Zenergy because it would sell very quickly. That's not really the case anymore, but this sold for $15 plus shipping. This is a pair of cabbie uh, capri length workout leggings, and they've just got a little dust on them uh, from storage, so I'll get those cleaned up real nice before I send them out. Those sold for $17 plus shipping. This is an older style pair of J. Crew khaki shorts. And I've had them in inventory for a long time. They're a size small. Um, I took an offer of $5 plus shipping on those. These are uh, Victoria's Secret linen pants. And you'll see I sold a lot of linen this weekend. Um, these took a while to sell, but they did sell for $19 plus shipping. It's a drawstring with a wide leg, 100% linen khaki pant. I didn't know Victoria's Secret made those. Um, this is a Woolrich men's red short sleeve shirt, and it sold for $12 plus shipping. Woolrich, again, a brand that I used to pick up a couple of years ago a lot. Now I'll get it if I get it for like a dollar, but it doesn't sell like it used to. This is a Couture Cop Copine Paris sweater and it was just intriguing enough to look up and actually the value on this brand was pretty high the comps were good but i've had it for a really long time although very expensive not necessarily all that popular and well known so when i got an offer of 34 dollars plus shipping on that i was okay with taking it i could have held out for more but i think i would have been holding out for a long time these are some Tommy Bahama men's shorts. I believe they are linen as well. I got these in a um, reseller box from Jennifer at the Thrifting Wanderluster. So I'm probably in those for about $4 and I sold them for $20 plus shipping. This is a pair of Ellie Tahari uh, skinny straight career pants. And Ellie Tahari is the better end of Tahari, but I've had these for a very long time and they were not selling. So I took an offer of $10 plus shipping on those. This is an Ann Taylor career top size large. I am more inclined to pick up Ann Klein in larger sizes, or I'm sorry, Ann Taylor. Um, but again, I think I was in this for a dollar and I sold it for $9 plus shipping. Definitely uh, not the most um, current style. So at $9, that was fine by me. This is something else that's been listed for a long time. Uh, it's a sleeveless top. It's by the brand French Laundry. I sold it for $12 plus shipping. And I apologize, you can't really tell a lot about it. But it's just a sleeveless top. This is a pair of Liz Lang Maternity shorts blue jean shorts just from target 
if I find maternity clothes that are cute, it doesn't really matter what brand it is, and they are very inexpensive, I will pick them up. Um, because they do sell. They don't sell for a lot. Um, but it's something that, you know, it doesn't really matter the brand, so that's good. These sold for $11 plus shipping. I got those for a dollar. These are a pair of Paige blue jean shorts. This is a very old label. So these are several years old. I like the braided detail on the pockets there. I took an offer of $10 on these. I could have gotten a few more dollars, but uh, instead of holding out for a few more dollars, I'm just trying to move some things on. I have a, a lot of bins in my inventory and I don't want to add any more bins. I want to move things out and put new things in those bins because I'm out of space on my shelving for it. So somebody bought a corduroy Christmas dress here in June, um, and this is just a little kid's uh, Rare Editions. That's uh, a brand that I like for my kids. And, um, oh, forgive me for the sniffling. I'll let this go for $7.25 plus shipping. Definitely could have waited till Christmas and probably gotten maybe more like 14 or 15 but like I said about my bins, this is a Lucky Brand tank top. Uh, forgive me for not unfolding it, but it is an American flag graphic on there. It's textured. It's got some uh, studs on it, and I let that go for $8.75. That made it through last 4th of July without selling, and I didn't want it to make it through another 4th of July without selling. One World is a brand I used to get excited about. Uh, because it would always sell quickly. It doesn't anymore. I do pick up the larger sizes and the nicer dresses, but this is a just a tank top. It sold for $11 plus shipping. I probably paid a dollar for that. And then this is a pair of Aphrodite blue jean uh, kind of booty shorts overalls. Um, I did pick up all overalls. Now I'm a little bit more picky. Um, I've had these for a long time. They sold for $12.50 plus shipping. I'm going to make this one quick because I'm trying to beat the mail lady and having some packages ready. But anyway, these are three supplements all sealed under the cap. Um, I'm in them for $5 altogether and the sell price of all three of them is $65 but free shipping.